as we move down this valley into this uh, town and begin the attack, we can see in the glasses through the trees there's some barbed wire. It looks like a deserted prison camp of some sort. There isn't any activity that we can tell. Check it out. It may be something that where prisoners of war were held, our own men. And we very stealthily, going through the trees and keeping out of sight, made our way to this barbed wire fence. I could see immediately that it had uh, insulators, that the wire was electrified. It was tall, 12 feet high, and there were two sections of it, and there were wires on the ground behind. And I thought to myself, this is no prison camp. It's so big. There are dozens of big brown buildings, and over here is this square, funny-looking chimney. But I couldn't see anybody. There was a guardhouse in our sight, but I couldn't tell if anyone was in there or not. On, on our farm, we used to put up an electric fence to keep the cattle and the horses in the proper place, and I knew exactly what those insulators were. So we didn't touch anything. We pushed this uh, torpedo underneath the wire and set it off. And then we received fire from around the corner of one of the barracks building and from the uh, tower. And one of my friends, not Arvazu, one of the others, was wounded in the shoulder. But we went through quickly and we just ran every place shooting and uh, some surrendered. And my best recollection is that there were 14 guards I know that they were all officers. There was not one single enlisted man. I know by their uniforms. And they were all SS officers, every single one of them. It was an overcast day like it here is here today. It was cool and the sun was not shining. I looked in this first barracks building. There were racks of skeletons, it looked like and the stench was overpowering. I know now that's why there were no guards in there. The vermin and the fleas and the lice and the smell. We, I, we covered every barracks. We found no guards inside. They were all up at the headquarters part or the front gate part where we got them. We told the, those who could walk, the, those living skeletons, you could do whatever you want with these prisoners. They tried to spit in their face. They couldn't get enough spittle to do so. A little slap or push. I thought they'd beat them up and kill them. I wanted to. Did you understand who these people were? I knew that they, they were Nazis, and I knew that they were our enemy. But did you understand who the prisoners I didn't make the, the connection. I, I knew they were guards at the camp, but I didn't make the connection that these folks were responsible for what had happened here. I didn't know what had happened here other than the evidence of, of crematorium, of ashes. Uh, when we had the, the, the attack on Weimar was very successful, so now there were reserve troops that could come, and uh, the command that I got through our command, the chain of command was, don't touch any of those, don't touch any of those things. Help the ones that are still alive, but don't touch anything. We need to gather evidence. 